Hello there. Plenty to talk about in Europe and once again most of the weather action is through the Mediterranean. You can see quite clearly on the satellite picture the rain bearing cloud that we've got at the moment. We've also got some pretty heavy rain and some snow across parts of Norway but the heaviest of the rain certainly through central Spain where we're seeing temperatures way below the average for the time of year that extends through the Pyrenees up into the south of France across the Balearics as well we're also picking up some rain that's just moving into western Turkey out of Greece some staying unsettled through mainland Greece and also some pretty intense showers through Italy too so it's quite unsettled through the Mediterranean further north of that we've got some colder but clearer weather across France, across the UK, a little more cloud through Germany and the low countries, some wet and windy weather pushing into Norway and on the leading edge we'll see some snow. Similar story as we move into Wednesday, still wet and windy up here. You can see that significant rainfall moving out of Spain across the Pyrenees and into the south of France. So here it's going to stay pretty unsettled, gradually nudging towards Corsica and Sardinia. So this is our city forecast then dry but colder than it has been across London and Paris. Temperatures way below the average for the time of year in Madrid as well. We will see the rain easing but more snow and colder weather to Oslo later. Hello then. Most of the weather action in North America at the moment is up into the far north. You can see this quite clearly on the satellite picture. We've got one area of low pressure that's moving through eastern Canada. The trailing weather front will produce some heavy rain and strong winds, but that is expected to ease away, leaving a trail of showers and cooler air behind. Another one is pushing in for the far north and west and this is going to bring more significant snow really just affecting the far north of British Columbia and Alaska but we are going to see again several centimetres of snow in addition to the significant snowfall that they've had already. Also some pretty strong winds as well so there will be some drifting and some poor visibility. That does extend down into Vancouver for Monday, rain close to the coast there but once you get down into Oregon really into California, we will see a good deal of fine dry weather, not as hot as it has been across Southern California and into Nevada in recent days. But again, dry, settled and sunny. Let's move over to Eastern Seaboard now in a little more detail as that frontal system clears through. Lake effect snow could be an issue, could bring some significant accumulations, 10, 20 centimetres um, over the next day or so. Down further south of that, it's fine and settled. Still a few scattered showers into Florida, not really amounting to too much. And it's an improving picture as we move through the middle part of the week. Hello there. Recent heavy rainfall across southern Brazil is starting to ease. In fact, if anything, it's warming up and we've got some unseasonable warmth across parts of Uruguay, northern Argentina and Paraguay as well. Come back to that in just a moment, taking a look at where the rain is sitting north of Rio de Janeiro, fairly extensive across uh, central and western areas of Brazil as well. This has been the story in recent days too. We're picking up some heavier showers down through Venezuela into Colombia, northern areas of Peru too. And there's that sh sharper showery rain across parts of central and western Brazil. Now to the south of that, it's dry, it's settled, it's warm. Uh, particularly, as I say, through Paraguay, Uruguay and into northern Argentina. Thundery downpours through the evening could be an issue, though, as well. Wet and windy weather starts to arrive into the southern tip of Chile. So this is the story over the next five days. Despite that warmth, we will see some rain into Buenos Aires, perhaps on Thursday. Mexico, some showers here, particularly out to the east. Yucatan Peninsula looks largely fine and dry. Down into Central America, we're picking up some showers, more extensive down through Costa Rica and Panama. And the tail end of a weather front brings some showers through the Caribbean, particularly into Cuba. But the risk of those showers will ease as we go through the week and a little more sunshine starts to come through. Hello there. We've got some unsettled weather across the far northwest of Africa. It's affecting the western Sahara, parts of Morocco, also into Algeria. We're seeing some strong winds and some rain at times as well. Now elsewhere, you can see the shower cloud just to the south of the equator here. And we've got some pretty intense showers moving away from the eastern half of South Africa up towards Zambia and Zimbabwe as well. Behind it, we will start to see some drier, brighter weather to look out for. So that's the main story 
stories as we go through Tuesday. If we take a look at the city forecast in a little more detail, you can see that there's still the risk of some showers returning into Cape Town from Friday onwards. Elsewhere, it's a dry, settled picture pretty uh, warm with it in Dakar as well. Now, the showers should ease into Casablanca for a few days, but the threat returns by the end of the week. Now, let's move over to the Middle East, where here it's a largely quiet story, it has to be said. A little bit of fair weather cloud that's moving its way through Iraq, um, but it's drifting its way eastwards. Elsewhere, it's light, it's dry, it's settled, it's sunny. Just a light shamal is likely. That could bring a little bit of poor visibility from time to time, but really we're not expecting it to be too much of an issue and it will stay dry and warm over the next few days and you can see that quite clearly on the city forecast that's it take care hello there we've seen some heavy rain just recently across south asia but it does look likely that the rain will start to ease in intensity. Now, the satellite picture is picking up more shower cloud activity across Sri Lanka. And as we go through the day, we will still see some rainfall, uh, likely to see another 100 millimetres in one or two spots, but not as extensive as it has been. So it's going to be affecting parts of Tamil Nadu, maybe up into Andhra Pradesh at times if you're unlucky, and then some heavy rain across that Kerala and Karnataka coastline as well. Further north of that, it's a dry, settled storm. We've got uh, some cold air spilling into Kazakhstan over the next couple of days. Also some significant snow for a time as well. But the cold air not really spilling further south. One or two isolated showers here close to the Caspian Sea into parts of Pakistan, northern India. It's fine and settled. Here's the heavy rain that I was talking about earlier, as I say, affecting Kerala coastline, Tamil Nadu, also into Sri Lanka. And one or two isolated showers moving up through the far north of Andhra Pradesh. So, the city forecast for the next five days looks somewhat like this. Mumbai will keep some blue sky and sunshine along with Dhaka. There's a good deal of dry weather to be found at this time of year. But the cold, snowy weather continues in Kazakhstan. Colder still, but drier from Friday onwards. Hello there. Extensive tropical downpours are likely across Malaysia and Indonesia. Yes, it is the rainy season, but this circulation here is just injecting more energy. It may well develop into a storm, not expected to make landfall, but it's going to certainly exacerbate the story over the next few days. So we could see as much as 100 millimetres to 150 millimetres over the next two to three days to fall. Now, further north of that, it's a slightly quieter story. You've got a few scattered showers across the far north of Japan, but for the Korean Peninsula, the bulk of China, good deal of fine, dry, sunny weather extending down into Hong Kong. But then further south, that's where we'll see those pretty intense showers. They're likely to cause an issue. So yes, we're going to see some relentless rain for Jakarta over the next few days. By contrast, Beijing with some blue sky sunshine and temperatures into double figures, perhaps from Wednesday onwards. Seeing some pretty intense showers through the interior of Australia, drifting their way steadily eastwards and temperatures below the average for the time of year. Some of that rain across parts of New South Wales and Victoria could be quite extensive. By contrast for New Zealand, it's a relatively quiet story here at the moment. There will be a few isolated showers, but largely dry with some fair weather cloud and temperatures into the low 20s. So if we take a look at the city forecast, you can see where the unsettled weather is across Sydney and Melbourne and those temperatures falling away once again.